Dr. Robert Gallo, HIV researcher. Making a difference in your world. It's another day of work for one of America's you top medical researchers. Starting with his 45-minute commute, Dr. Robert Gallo is still working hard nearly 30 years after his breakthrough discovery of the first retrovirus in humans, the one that causes leukemia. That work later led to the discovery of the retrovirus responsible for AIDS. He also developed the blood test that screens blood supply. You see my notes on it? Ten years ago, Dr. Gallo and two other scientists founded the Institute of Human Virology in Baltimore, dedicated to the study and treatment of HIV AIDS. The Institute's goal is halting the epidemic. Dr. Gallo has been honored with more than 80 medical awards and 30 honorary degrees. However, when asked about what is usually cited as his most important achievement, the discovery of the AIDS virus is not in his list. Emotionally, the most important thing I got satisfaction was the discovery of the first human retrovirus, the leukemia virus, HTLV-1, because it was one of the first viruses shown to be the cause of cancer. Dr. Gallo's sister died of leukemia when she was a child, and he says he embarked on a lifetime of research after six painful months as a medical doctor treating children with leukemia. Watching a lot of children while taking care of them die was a horrific experience. I did, certainly it led me not to want to see patients ever again, and I never did. Scientists argued for years over Gallo's 1984 work on the retrovirus. A French scientist also claimed the discovery. The argument was settled when Dr. Gallo and Dr. Luc Montagnier of the Pasteur Institute in Paris were declared co-discoverers. This is a picture with Luc Montagnier. We are in Cameroon, in Africa. Montagnier is, has a foundation, and I'm on his board. He's also a member of this institute. At home, Dr. Gallo is surrounded by reminders of his research, discovery, and awards. His wife, Mary Jane, recalls a full life of travel and meeting world leaders. Uh, we've known each other for 50 years. The 71-year-old scientist ends this day on the tennis court with his friend and colleague, Joe Bryant, who jokes with Dr. Gallo about his poor backhand and his competitive spirit. Dr. Gallo speaks of how he might be remembered. That I tried hard and uh, that we got rid of AIDS, but that's, I don't think, going to be part of it. Those who know him say people will recall his forceful personality and dogged determination. Aaron Brummett, VOA News for Making a Difference in Baltimore, Maryland.